year, bees contribute over $500 billion to the world economy. That's more than Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk combined. And as someone who is on a mission to become Minecraft's richest player, I need to build the largest bee farm in Minecraft history. This looks like a perfect location. This is more the industrial side right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and line the front of it with some rose bushes. And then I'm going to create a very strategic design where these are placed kind of like this. In between them is going to be a bunch of flowers. And these are all going to be the beehives, right? So it's going to be a pretty dead section of just bees because I can put these here. Then I can surround them with all the flowers. Oh, yeah, let's get this other side then. That looks really nice. All right, so I'm going to get started on constructing the bakery. We're going to use birch wood, which is everybody's favorite for the main wood as of the base. And I'm not going to lie, you guys don't understand the pressure it is to build with this many people watching you. So I've outlined the base with the pink concrete and we're building the birch wood on the inside to just give it a little bit of depth. So now we come back, we actually break these from this new campfire. Now we should be able to harvest it. This is exciting. There we go. So that gave us nine single honeycomb, which we can then use to craft finally into the, the other pieces of this that we need. And then uh, I'll just place them on this side. Okay, that's a phenomenal start. Now, in order to get the bees to produce a lot of honey and to get more bees, we're going to be intelligent for once and go out and actually just harvest some flowers myself because I know they're all over the land and I like using the natural ingredients. And, and once I do this, guys, we'll go see what Isaac's doing today because I think he's got his own business that's being started. All right, and we are at the very top. Once I put down these last couple pink concrete blocks, we will have successfully completed the roof. We're going to dig this out and I think we're going to make it birch wood. All right. I think the birch planks actually look a lot better as the flooring material and not the wall. So we're going to go ahead and replace all of the walls with white concrete and then we will be able to work on the inside of the base. Oh, there it is. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at all this. See, I could have bought these. We've got quite the collection here of flowers, don't we? Now, as I said, guys, this is just the beginning. This is going to get much, much, much bigger. I'm trying to keep it like a nice little even pattern here so it looks extra good. I do want to clean this up, though. Uh, let's make that middle path look a little better. I'll just turn this into like some spruce wood here. Let's go ahead and buy a few bees. Okay, let's get these in. Hey, go home. you're not going if there's a thing. Why are they sinking like they're... F what? Hey, aren't you supposed to live in these? Am I stupid? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Good, good, good. It just—it was just getting a little bit of honey first. Okay, nice. We're good. All right, we are putting on the final wall right now, and we are going to have a completely sealed in building. Let's take a step back just to admire the gorgeousness oh, that is this base. And I kind of feel like we need to redo the front here because I don't really like how the door is offset. So I'm going to go ahead and redo the front right here. And then I got this pink terracotta, and we're going to put a design on the back wall here if I can figure out how terracotta works. But there we go. Now we have a sick looking flower, and I want to put two more of those, one here and then one on the other side. While I'm here, I might as well try to breed these bad boys to save some money. So hopefully those give us some baby bees in it. Dude, we got some baby bees. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I should have done this to all of them. Well, I hope I didn't buy too many bees. That one's burning. The baby's burning. No. Oh, well, watch out for that, I guess. All right, well, these things go find their homes and suck up inside of those. Let's go see what Isaac's doing. As you can see, we've went with very good colors. Everybody loves birch wood and pink. Now, I mean, you're going to sell cakes. You're going to sell what else? Cookies? Well, I'm thinking cakes and cookies, but we're going to explain. Do you know how hard it is to make cakes? You're going to have to have like a farm for every single possible item necessary to make cakes. That's going to be a doozy. You know what? You only need one cow, Zach. You can continuously milk one cow. That's true. That's true. You only need one cow. You can milk it to death. That's crazy. Now, what's interesting even more so is when you push this button, a lot of players were doing it and activating my redstone. So I have not touched this, guys. Look how much sugar cane we got for free. Isaac, look at this. Wow, that is actually a ton of sugar cane. Now, the one that actually made me money, I was getting a lot of DMs, guys, from people that play on the server. We have totally sold out of these banners. So we obviously, I need to restock. And then the last thing I want to check is how much did we make from our grinders? It filled my entire chest up with infinite bones. Oh my gosh, dude, look at all the iron I got. But you got iron from your zombies? Oh my God, that's so much better than mine. Dude, I got a zombie spawn egg. How'd I get that? Okay, this is crazy. The way Isaac got the zombie spawn spawn egg is because there's a very rare enchantment on this server that allows you to occasionally get an egg when killing a mob. Dude, my zombies are way better. That's some good money, Isaac, and we can definitely keep expanding. All right, so right between these, this is where the new store is going to be located. This is the actual design for the honey store, but I need so much more honey. I need so much more beehives. I need this to be so much more active. The thing is, I need honeycomb. So it's, it's incredibly expensive, but that allows me to create a lot more beehives. Let's pop these in. So guys, check it out. We've added a path, a walkway around this on both sides so we can continue to expand it if we need to. But I don't know how slow it is to get honey. Can I automate this as well? And can I also have my fans collect it? You see, on my Minecraft server, it's illegal to have things that are completely automated because with thousands of players, it gets too loud. So I created a design where when players go in my shop and press a random button, so they're automatically farming it for me. What if I did something similar here and had it so my bees could be also automatically harvested? Well, I could put a row of dispensers on top, maybe with shears, redstone wire it. But if I redstone wired it and then I connected it to my bee store, they would also collect all of those items for me. So I do want to try that and see if I can make it work. 
items are now obtained. We've crafted a bunch of dispensers. So let's see if this is a feasible design here. Then I'm going to put some shears inside of this and uh, do this all the way across and see if I can get one row of this working. So that's going to all face down. And then in theory, if I put redstone above it, it might power those. But I don't know where the honey would go. I think I actually can do this without campfires on this particular design because I could just use the shears in the dispenser to get it instead of me doing it manually. So let's let's do a little change here. All right, let's see if this shears it. Hey, I think it did. No, it did. It did. OK, so that actually works. So theoretically, my bees can now pop out into this section and then they'll get trapped. But like I'm not 100 percent sure on that. The idea is I trap the bees in glass. They come out, pollinate, go back in and literally can never escape. Then if I put shears in here, it should be pretty simple to pull a lever and it shears it and I get the items. But I don't know where the items go when I collect it. I don't have any hoppers yet. And the other problem is, frankly, I don't know how I'm going to easily restock this with shears. Bro, I am making the most complex build I've ever made in my entire life and I cannot figure out if this is good or not. This is, I've rebuilt it like 10 times. I think it's AFK. Oh, do you see this? You're muted, I can't hear you. Huh? God dang it. You know how long I've been muted for? All right, two different formulas here. One on the left is the manual one. You go through and harvest it with shears. The bees are asleep, you get the honey. The one on the right is the idea for an automated one where I connect it to redstone. It shears it, and then it sends the beehive down and the bees can't escape this little area here and I think I can collect it maybe. Wow, I mean, that is disgusting, dude. This is like automated honey production, dude. What happened to the free the bee movement? I went for the organic farm fresh bakery approach. We're not gonna produce a lot of cakes. We're just gonna produce a few very high quality ones. What's a high quality one? in Minecraft. Explain that to me. Come over to my, my build and I'll show you. See what's going on over here. Look at this. We have a cow right here. Uh, over here, we have a chicken. Okay. And then back here, we have wheat and cocoa bean production. That is crazy, dude. I like that you can just see the cow. You know it's fresh. It's right there. Yep. All right, all right. I got stuff to do, man. We got a lot of work today to get this thing ready for the grand opening and we're not even close. I don't even know if my bee farm works, so I got a lot. One of my issues is I need to be able to access these dispensers to potentially add more shears. So why don't we come around, add some trap doors to the back of this, I don't think the bees can go through these. And then whenever I need to get in, I have easy access and I think it cleans up the build quite a bit. and makes it look a lot nicer. We just bought a second chicken because I was tired of waiting for the first one. While we wait for the chickens to lay some eggs, we're actually going to go down below our zombie farm. Look at this. They are just producing an absurd amount of iron down here. With this amount of iron, we can make an absolute absurd amount of buckets. And let's go ahead and milk a bunch of cows. Shears are stock. So this thing's ready to go. Every time I press that lever, at least now this will work. I'll let the honey work in because the thing is, now, I don't really know where the honey goes. I feel like maybe if I put hoppers below it, that might collect it. So I'm going to try that now, but this is a lot of experimenting coming in here today. Shout out to everyone who bought from my store in the last couple weeks. I wouldn't have been able to afford these 13 hoppers if it weren't for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and do a test run here. So let's go ahead and rip it. Okay, none of that worked. Crap, what am I supposed to do now? No, no, no. Oh crap, that's so bad because I don't think none of it went through. We got all these hoppers now. All right, well... What am I supposed to do about that? All right, I'll make another adjustment here, folks. We're going in for the 15th one of the day. All right, there we go. We have three stacks of milk buckets in here. And then over in this chest, we have an absurd amount of milk. So we have some nice sugar there and we have some wheat. Oh my gosh, we finally got an egg in the enclosure. We are producing our first cake of Isaac's Bakery. Let's go ahead and take this thing over to Loverfella's farm because I feel like he should have a first bite of cake that is absolutely gonna destroy him. Yeah. You're AFK. I'm just researching. I can't figure it out. So I got this to mostly work. What if you change the glass to another block that's a little bit more like a fence a slab maybe whoa, whoa hold on okay hold on zach let me offer this as a solution too. the very first cake i ever baked baby thank you i'll, I'll leave that there for about five minutes so let's see if this works i'm gonna break these and put down some slabs try to throw it on that i ate half the cake i bet it goes through that cake now it does oh my gosh we could use a cake wall here we could use cakes give me some cakes give me some cakes this is an actual interesting idea this could be a one of a kind go 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 i'm really hoping this works also maybe slabs here would have been good but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter i'm just gonna make this up until something happens here that i like so let's try this design we got the cakes in, so now the bees have honey. This doesn't impact them at all, but that should prevent them from getting out in theory. All right, send the bees out. Why, I can't. That's their, They come out on their own when they're ready. But what I need to do now then is I need to redstone wire this down to where the bee shop's going to be. I would like to take it maybe underground. So if I'm smart about it, I could just have it continue extending back this way and then just bring it down like super simply in this wall. Well, I'll come back and see if this works later. Let's see, where does this take us out? No, that's where we want to be. We want to keep going down because I want to be underground and right here seems like a fine spot and that is our limit. So we'll have to fill that in, put a repeater down. All right. 
So then all we need to do is finally place a single button right here on the top of this. And this button would trigger the redstone. It goes all the way up. And then my fans can turn this on while I'm literally just away. All right, let's see. But before I finish this beehive store, there's something very important I got to do in my base. I'm actually going to like revamp some of my older businesses here. Like for example, this arrow one actually sold out. People were actually shooting at this. So I can go into my shop here, get the arrows moving in. And that's going to be great. But I still don't like the way that I have to go to the water to get there. I don't know why I did that design. And frankly, I hate it. I would say a little secret back door like this, if I filled it up correctly, would probably be my best bet to have a new way to get down. All I have to do is essentially climb a ladder that's going to go in right here on the wall. All right. Now, the important reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to easily resupply my skeleton shooter over here. What I need to do is come up with a slightly better solution for this and uh, a way to resupply this a little bit faster. It could be through an underground system that kind of has me pop up. Oh, well, that's interesting. There's already uh, this, uh, this connects right to my little pipe right here. So I guess uh, I could take this actually go straight through and I now you've got a double way to access this and this little panel would be a staff access room. You just got to make it go that way. Alright guys, check it out. So this is now a much more functional design. I can go into here, swim down to here, walk all the way over to here, and then I can collect all my arrows. Then I take the arrows back and resupply it. You guys see how much faster this is than if I had to like do it a different way? Like this is, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And then the fireworks shop is still having the issue of not actually being that usable yet because I still do not have a creeper spawner on my roof. However, what if I took this downstairs area and I connected it to the one that I just made because it's so close? Like that seems so effective to me. I have to go around that though because that's a full on room right there. Wow, that actually connects. Okay, that's way better than I expected. So now every single one of my areas has an underground connection point. So once you're, oh, didn't mean to do that. Once you're in this area, you can collect all of your sugar cane. I don't know how we got two eggs in here. You can do a quick little paper conversion and prepare this for more fireworks in the future, which is phenomenal. Let's go open some chests then because uh, I know that I have two vote keys here and I also have daily rewards that I have not collected. Quite a few of them, actually. We got 12 lucky gems. Those are worth some money, but I'm actually going to keep them. I got a rare rune. I got five daily keys. I got a random enchanted book. Punch one. That's pretty useless in mending. I have about 60,000 mending. Oh, I have four more of these. A pig spawner, which I could put down in Industrial Avenue. Uh, some villager spawners. Oh my god, I finally got villager spawners. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is exciting, bro. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and dip this bad boy down here. It's not the best animal farm, but it's better than nothing. Let's open this. And we got vein miner five. This is worth $750,000. So I'll put it up for about 600. Now, let's see if my bee farm's working. It works. All we have to do now is block that off and put the floor back down. All right, guys. So as far as the actual bee shop, I want to keep it really tiny because I don't want it to overpower these two mob spawners, which we're going to have to go in and clear here shortly and sell the items. And uh, hopefully I can make them able to enter this. See, we got quite the crowd here. Now let's get our cakes loaded up into the shop. I think first we need to go around and give a bunch of people cookies. We do have some extra wheat back at my own base. We wanted to get their intention before we give it to them. So the big idea I have with this shop is it's going to actually resolve Resemble little bee thing that they put their little booties in. You get the idea, probably. In order to pull this off, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some yellow concrete. What do you think of this bad boy, Isaac? It looks great, but you know what looks better? I'm giving everybody free cookies right now, Zach. They're all gonna be loyal to my my business. That's not a bad idea. It would have looked a lot better if you took the time to make this a hexagon. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like a it's gonna be like a little bee hexagon thing. Really? You can fit that in here? I don't think you can. I don't know if it's gonna work. The bees are out. The bees are out. Oh, is it working? Is it working? I wanted to see this. It looks like it collected four honeycomb. I just turned it on and it collected a few. So all I have to do then is get this thing to connect to like a bigger system, but I think it actually works. The cakes are absolutely flawless. And that's what Isaac's Bakery, I mean, we, we just, we, we're perfectionists. So now we're facing some construction issues where it seems like this shape is gonna be too high. It's gonna intrude on the mushrooms. So I need to rethink a way to make this thing fit in. All right, guys, so it, it kind of, instead of becoming like a full-on building, has now become a honey bridge, which is uh, kind of interesting as you walk across to the land of honey. It's not what I had in mind, and I still don't love it, but I also don't hate it. So guys, over the last 24 hours, I've done quite a bit of work inside my beehive base. What I've done is completely rebuilt this and flipped it around. And I think I also broke all the redstone while doing this build. So I'm going to have to redo that later. Now, before I build the factory, what I'd like to do is create some sort of an easy to get to access panel for me. So I think the best thing to do is go ahead and dig into the wall here. I'll put a little door on the side and uh, I should be able to reach both of these hopper systems pretty easily. So in theory, I can actually connect that hopper over to this hopper and then just have like 
like a literal one-stop shop for all of this. So with the help of spending all my money to buy a bunch more hoppers, I think I can actually pull this off. So I rewired all these to connect and these all come over here to connect. So now literally I walk inside this door and this singular hopper is where all the honeycomb comes to and I can collect it. The last thing I need to do then to really make this thing work is uh, for now, just put down a little simple chest system here that will allow it to collect an immense amount. Okay guys, I have done some extensive work here on the front of the bakery and I think it is looking really bad in a good way. This just catches your eyes. Pink and white is such an unusual color in Minecraft. I think the inside of this place looks absolutely amazing right now. It's very inviting. You know, it just feels like you want a cake when you're in here. But anyways, guys, I have reworked the front so that the railroad cart goes right in front of the building now. And I, I have, have a grand plan, plan guys. And all I'm right going to say is it involves this many mine carts in this many name tags. And we need to go get a bunch of sheep, guys. Hey, Isaac. What's up? Why don't you come over to my honey shop and do me the honor of pressing the honey button and let's see what happens. Listen, Zach, I would, but I'm so far away from you right now. I'm, I'm doing my own process. Okay, I'll press it myself. I was just going to test it. Don't worry about it. I'll do it myself. All right, let's press this, guys, and see what happens. Nothing. It seems like there's a potential redstone. Oh, there is a redstone dilemma. All right, let's try it now. I don't know how that broke, but <laughs> you know what? Let's try it now. Hey! That sounded good. Now, it definitely did not reach this side. What exactly went wrong here? I'm guessing we're shorter. Oh, no. Okay. I guess I missed another spot. Oh, I missed another. What the heck? Let's try it again. There you go. So as you can see, it is not a perfect process. It is still missing some honey. It looks like right there, there was uh, 11. Is that right? That seems like an immense number to miss. So overall, 35 honeys, and there's still more, have not quite been collected. Oh, the and we just lost a bee. All right. So 50 of them. I got 50 honeys from that. But how many of them actually went into my collection system? Because even if it's not 100% efficient, that's okay. Zero. Zero? It collected zero honeys? Dude, there's no way that I've spent almost 20 hours on this build and it still collected zero. I wonder if somehow moving these slabs to the top has impacted that because I had to get rid of the cakes because players were coming and eating the cakes, letting all the bees fly free. I wonder if somehow this is messing it up because it clearly did work with cakes. So guys, I just got another idea. What if I just swap the location of the hopper and that? Because when this breaks, it falls on the first block. Why couldn't I just put the azalea out here and give the bees like one more spot to fly? So let's go ahead and rebuild this entire thing again. Okay, guys, this is absolutely going flawlessly. We have both of the sheep that we need in both colors and we are bringing these all the way back to the base so we have quite the undertaking in front of us i mean this is going to be a journey okay animals still don't know how to move in water i cannot believe they haven't fixed this yet i mean they are moving at like negative two speed right now i mean come on guys okay the sheep have officially entered the amusement park and we are marching towards the bakery we're almost there we got the sheep here i have a temporary holding cage right here in the water and these guys are going to hang out here until i can breed enough of them to get all of my sheep needed this should be the final design this should actually work on the server this is taken so much engineering to pull off and it's really not even that complex but let's see Hey, it still didn't really work. See, there's only a small piece now that didn't make it in. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter. Let's see how much we collected. That's really what matters to me. How much do we get in here? 15. We went from zero to 15. It's not a perfect production, obviously, but when it comes down to being better than it was, it's significantly better. Isaac, take a look. Take a look. It is finally basically fully functional. Now, I only see one problem with this right now, Zach. Your shears are going to break. All I have to do is split this open to get in and add more. Dude, the only thing I think you need to do, Zach, is expand this like a hundredfold. It's got to go deep into it, but before I do that, I got to get the building front made. So that way it looks like a giant impressive building people are going to get into. So guys, now I need to actually start building the build. My idea here is that players are going to want to come into this to see how the honey is actually collected. And I think that'd be kind of a cool process. Oh, that's not bad at all. A giant H for honey. You could actually make that look maybe a little better by using uh, glass in the middle. But I think as a factory, you do want to kind of keep your secret secrets and maybe not have people in there. We have successfully obtained all of our sheep. Basically, the goal is going to be to create a giant Minecraft pink and white sheep train that's going to go around the roller coaster permanently. Now, the hard part today is going to be getting the sheep out of here one by one to put them on here. And I'm thinking a fishing rod will be the best thing to do that. I'm just going to fish them out into the minecarts. So I've made a little scaffolding tower right here. So I'm just going to slowly fish out the sheep one by one now from up high. There we go. Okay, so now we got one. Now we just have to go down there and lure them out with the wheat. And then we have to repeat that 10 more times. That looks menacing, all right? All we have to do is then use the small amount of white concrete we have left to kind of create like just basically solid white walls on the side. Now we need a roof. And uh, I'm just going to do it out of andesite because I think I have a lot of it. And I feel like the andesite is a great roof block. Yeah, I, I actually do like that. It gives it a very like industrial vibe, which is kind of what I'm going for. Let us add some grass out front to clean up the little front line here. And then 
then I was thinking we could put some beehives out front, just kind of like on the ground or like on little posts. Cause like I got a couple extras I haven't used yet. Now this is totally useless if it's not making me money. So I've got to start actually getting some product into these, maybe get some chests shop set up. So you could kind of have your shop right in the middle and you're able to get your shop from here or keep walking to go to that. So it, it draws your eyes in and it's so much easier to use. And then the products would be all listed. So we'd have our honeycomb, honeycomb blocks and hopefully honey eventually, but that is not automated. Getting the honey bottles is a whole nother beast of a project. So right now it's literally just honey, but that's not going to be enough to sell here at the honey shop. So I need to make sure that this is a lot better while also restocking everything else. One of the things I think I should Stop do. right there. Oh, hello, sir. This game is making me go crazy. All right. What'd you do? First of all, just take a look at the track. Why? I was trying to get a bunch of sheep in a row and now they're just all on top of each other and I can't stop them. <laughs> Why don't you add some stairs, dude? Why don't you add some stairs here? Dude, it took like, I've been working on this sheep. I don't have time for anything else. There they go. I don't even know where the black one came from. Add a staircase or something so I can get into your shop like a normal human being. Well, you can't now because there's a sheep train that can kill you at any point. I was trying to use the sheep to just draw people in, Zach. Well, that's an interesting idea. Mine's ready to be open, Zach. What are we waiting on for you? Well, we'll start then simply with a couple of honeycombs and I'll sell them for 200 each. So now this is ready. Let's go ahead and get our claim open here, guys, so we can get some players in. The only way you guys can get here, by the way, is type slash P warp. Our theme park is right here in the other category. It is this little mushroom design. We've had 138 visits today and a 4.5 star rating. So uh, make sure you guys give us a five star review if you like our theme park. 